All right, welcome back everyone. We are redoing a test that we did on this Oregon Pyramid because a viewer asked about what would the difference be if we did it without holding it and I think you will find this very interesting. So right now I have the EMF tester which is testing the electric field at this point on this light which if I put it right up to the light I'm gonna get a really high reading especially if I lift it up, okay, it's 400. If I put it down, it goes down quite a bit, okay? So this is interesting. So it's around 100 right now, in the 80s, 90s, okay, around 100, 90, all right? Now I'm gonna put this in front of it, it goes way down, all right? But, Look what happens when I take my hand off of it. It actually jumps back. So what I'm concluding from this is it's not from the pyramid. It's from the grounding of the person touching the pyramid. That, that is a very uh, important conclusion to make from this because in that respect, it doesn't matter if the pyramid, if I'm holding the pyramid or not, I could put, just put my hand in front of it and see it goes right back down too. Okay, so this is actually debunking these pyramids and I'm glad this person asked this question. I think it was Haktu that asked this. Good question. Now, what I've done to prove this is to bring out my grounding mat. The grounding mat is plugged in to the ground in an outlet, okay? So right now we have, again, we have around 100. Watch what happens when I put the grounding mat on. I'm not touching it, but the ground is on. Goes way, way down. So the cause of this pyramid is not the pyramid itself. It is, in fact, the ground of a person touching the pyramid. So what that means is that these pyramids, they may have a slight advantage of drawing the electricity while you're holding it or if they're grounded, but all in all, they are ineffective. I'm sorry to say they are ineffective. And I have not been purchasing them since I started doing these tests because of that reason. They don't actually work, I'm sorry. Now if you have a grounding mat though, which I highly recommend, you can get on earthing.com and get one of these. I've been sleeping on one of these grounding mats for probably six, seven, eight years now, and it definitely helps with insomnia. So I highly recommend these, and you can tell from this that they actually work. Okay, if I take away this grounding mat, it'll jump way back up. So highly recommend these grounding mats. You plug them into the ground in the three-prong plug-in, and they actually work. I would recommend unplugging them if there is a storm, because sometimes you actually feel the, the electricity from the storm and it'll give you a minor shock, but they are great. I sleep on them all the time, but I'm glad that Haku asked this because this debunks these pyramids and no longer will I be spending money on these because they simply do not really work unless you're, of course, holding them and then they work. Okay, so great question. And there you have it. These things are, not legit according to this, okay? So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time.